I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn with your Citizen Florida tropical update and the Atlantic continues to heat up. We have Hurricane Gert, which is now taking more of that north northeasterly curve away from the U.S. And then Invest 91, which has a medium chance of development over the next five days. And then a couple of waves. In fact, we have so many of these waves. We're actually calling it the wave trains that are coming out the coast of Africa. So not just one wave, but two waves. But there's a third wave coming off. And over the next 10 days, we do have the opportunity for these to develop into named systems. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on that. But uh, going back to GERD, hurricane status, a very weak minimum category one. Category one starts with wind speeds of 74 miles per hour, and GERD is at 75, pressure 986. But it is starting to take that north northeasterly curve away from the U.S. And as you can see, it's expected to remain a hurricane until Thursday before finally maybe starting to weaken. And that's because it's going to be getting into those cooler waters and losing that warmth of the Atlantic Ocean, which helps strengthen the storm. Now, as we look at our vapor sort of water trail here, you can see the systems as they are moving across another wave here. The second one, though, looking a little bit more stronger, robust. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that one, particularly for Monday. And it looks like Invest 91 might encounter a little bit sheer. But then as it heads on further to the west, we'll see things improving for that one. Now, what about all the names that these could be on our storm track? Well, first of all, we're getting close to that peak of the hurricane season. Here we are in August. It actually peaks up in September, so that's why we're really starting to see the activity increasing with those waves off the Atlantic. And those next three named storms, they could be if they develop Harvey, Irma, and Jose. But we'll keep a close eye on the active Atlantic.